Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday, 1023 a.m. California time here. November 7th, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 2.7 there across the Indonesia Islands area. Also 1.8 here across Northern California. That's going to be this little red circle here outside of Hayfork. Uh, this is 19 miles deep underneath this area, so associated with the Cascadia subduction zone that sits just offshore here. Uh, also up north here, just prior to the Cascadia, a 2.6 coming in earlier this morning. Uh, this is the area just shy here of the interface between the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate. This is where the plate starts to subduct underneath this region and uh, capable of producing a 9.0 earthquake out here. This area is a major subduction zone region. And uh, we've had a little bit of earthquake activity out there recently, uh, including this uh, quake right here, 5.0, back on the 17th of October. So still uh, kind of watching this area here. Uh, haven't really seen a whole lot of trimmer activity here in the last couple days, but uh, we are definitely getting some uh, earthquake movement there including the latest one here down south at the southern end. Uh, for the rest of Southern California here, a couple more earthquakes overnight above the 2.5 level, uh, 3.4 outside of the Brago Springs area, and another 3.5 up here across the Death Valley area. That's a region that has been seeing uh, quite a bit of swarming going on there recently. I have to pause here for some breaks occasionally so I can catch my voice. Um, Entering in the day, like day number nine here, of barely having any type of uh, voice. 1.4 coming in right now, looks like here in the last couple minutes, north of the Death Valley area. Now, overall, the sign out here, the trend is increasing in earthquake movement out here in various locations. Uh, up here along the San Andreas Fault, leading to the Hayward Fault. Got a couple of small earthquakes here. Uh, along that branch there and also as noted Death Valley Ridgecrest Bakersfield area There's that three-pointer and some other quakes here along the San Jacinto fault zone also Some movement just off the San Andreas fault here along the San Bernardino mountain range now that area obviously uh, Watching it closely because that is just off the plate boundary. That's where a lot of the strain can transfer here uh, Just off in this region and normally when elevated activity kicks up here uh, that's a sign to watch for some further escalation here across the plate boundary itself, the San Andreas Fault. So things are somewhat active out here today across Southern California and the West Coast in general. Uh, Yellowstone National Park looks like a couple smaller earthquakes out here. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the overview of Yellowstone, see what's going on out here. Uh, a couple smaller quakes around the vicinity. It looks like Little West Thumb area. Yeah, here's Little West Thumb. There's a couple of those two-pointers. There's, there's some smaller quakes in there as well. A um, couple different areas of uptick here today. The latest, a 2.4 here in this cluster. Uh, nothing above 2.5. These are all below the 2.5 level, but we're noticing a little bit of increasing seismic activity out here across the western area of Yellowstone National Park. Nothing big going on. Uh, as you can see, there's just a handful of smaller quakes here in the last couple hours. Um, it's, been a, it's been a little while. It's been a minute here since we've seen a decent amount of earthquakes swarming out there across Yellowstone National Park. And... Uh, you know, it, it's possible we could start to see a swarm come in here at any given time. It could be a start of one right now. Who knows? It may just be a little bit of activity and then it will go away. Uh, as I said, it's been a little while since we've seen any activity out there in terms of seismic swarming. But with the increasing activity here across the West Coast, uh, it would make sense here to see some inland movement. Uh, most of the time we could follow a trail leading up here from the Garlock Fault shear zone all the way across this mountain range all the way up into Wyoming where the stress uh, tends to build up here against the North American Craton area in the center portion there of the North American plate. Uh, oil fields still getting hit out there. Nothing major going on uh, for the rest of the country. As far as anything uh, 
big today so far. That's going to be the 5.2 earthquake here across the Papua New Guinea area. 56 miles deep here uh, for this earthquake. Looking at the broader scale of things here, quieter, older activity here from the Kermadec Trench southward. Not a whole lot of new activity there right now. Uh, most of the newer activity there across Papua New Guinea area. Um, and definitely the west coast region here, things starting to light up. See, there was a 4.2 up here last night. USGS not picking up on that earthquake. That's at the extreme northern end of the Cascadia subduction, Cascadia subduction zone. It's going to be right about here. Uh, so elevated elevated seismic activity roughly all across the west coast here including southern california so things are definitely on the uptick here in the last 24 hours we'll continue to watch it uh, further activity here across the south america area and the subduction zone there of the uh, south sandwich islands for a 5.1 uh, looking at space weather activity we are starting to crackle and sizzle here a little bit with some consistent M flare activity we've seen a number of M flares here in the last uh, couple days and the last 24 hours there's at least one two three four five M flares we could be on our way up to see another six one here in the last 24 hours so um, definitely on the uptick here across the solar disk and that is due to a large number of sunspots out here that are venturing into the earth directed view this one is squarely lined up looking at us. Uh, watch that one for some further X flare activity. Uh, also a newer active region out here on the eastern limb that looks fairly complex and large in coverage. Uh, that also harbors some potential there for some X flare activity. And uh, this region here, uh, a little disorganized, but still there's a lot of intermixing here of the colors within that sunspot core. Uh, so the overall threat remains elevated still at 35% chance for X flare. M flare at 80, C flare at 90% chance or so. And I'm hoping I can get my voice back. Goodness, folks, it's uh, crazy. No major roars in the forecast for now. We'll see if we can't get that to change. There's all the M flares here in the last couple days. Quite a bit. A lot of that here from uh, early this morning and last night. Our most recent X flare there from yesterday in X 2.3. But again, the X flare potential is elevated with all this sunspot activity. Uh, severe weather out there across Texas today. Western areas of Texas got a 5% 5, 5 chance for tornado activity there across areas of Abilene, Big Spring, Sweetwater, and even Snyder, Texas out there today. So just a heads up, watch for some spinning water vapor. I uh, don't want to be caught up in those tornadoes. Uh, wind and some hail threats out there as well. Looking at the extended GFS model here shows Hurricane, um, ooh, what is the name of that hurricane here? Hurricane Raphael, that's it, down here. Uh, looks like 100 mile per hour sustained winds. That is slowly going to get caught up here with this low pressure system and bring some rain out here across the south as uh, we put the map into motion there. Not any major threat in terms of tropical activity, just uh, adding a little bit of moisture to that low pressure. A west coast gonna get in on a stormy pattern, it looks like, as we head deeper into the November time period. And uh, yeah, it just starting to look a little bit more like winter out here, getting the mix of colder air coming down from the north. And um, yeah, look at the east out there, northeast getting in on some snow as well. It is November, so uh, that's, uh, that's a good sign. At least we're getting some weather patterns switching up out here for the uh, winter months ahead. All right, folks, I'm out of here while I still have somewhat of a voice. Uh, we'll keep an eye here on the West Coast. It is starting to light up, again, roughly from uh, northern end of the Cascadia all the way down here to Southern California. We'll keep an eye on that somewhat elevated seismic activity ongoing here today. Have a good day. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later unless something major happens.